hi guys welcome welcome back again to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Zena and in this video I'm gonna tell you guys about my third trimester symptoms I am currently 37 weeks pregnant 37 weeks and five days pregnant and I want to tell you guys my symptoms so far so Third trimester starts from 28 weeks up until when you give birth. So, the seven weeks, which is term in this country, in the US, and 40 weeks is your due date. Some women give birth at 42 weeks. So, no woman has given birth after 42 weeks. And yeah. Okay, my third trimester. I remember my first trimester symptoms resurfaced, and so my second trimester symptoms are still there. And in my third trimester, I've got new symptoms. So at 28 weeks, I had this thing, this sensation on my finger, still having it, but I do not know if it is related to the pregnancy. But it is related to the pregnancy because it started when I Got pregnant in my second trimester and I'm still having the feeling in my third trimester yeah just I was having um, wrist pain wrist pain back pain headaches um, the headaches are not there now I had I do have headaches when I haven't slept like I'm so tired and I haven't slept, so I do have headaches and they just go away. I haven't taken any uh, pill, any meds during this pregnancy, and I do not intend to do that until after I've given birth, after my child is here. Then I can start taking meds, but I'm not the kind of girl that do take meds for pain unless I cannot um, bear the pain anymore. Then I'm gonna take um, Tylenol or paracetamol yeah um i documented here that i do have a rush of emotion rush of tiredness and emotion now let me explain this in my third trimester i'm always most times i'm always crying and how this happens is that i can just be by myself and then i feel this build up of emotions building up in me and I feel it. I don't know how to explain it. And it just builds up until it releases. Does that make sense? Until I release the tears, until I start crying. And I'm like, why am I crying? Sometimes I do cry for a reason when I'm alone. Yeah, the other day I can remember, but I cannot remember the exact week. I think that was when I was 36 weeks pregnant. I felt this feeling of death. I felt like I was going to die while in labor. Um, when in labor, I felt so horrible and it just overwhelmed me. I just felt that. I don't know why, but ever since that day, I didn't feel that kind of way anymore. So what I did was that I called my mom first and i told her she cancelled it she prayed for me she gave me words of encouragement she gave me bible words um, bible verses to read with my sister and she encouraged me told me what happened to me she prayed for me and all of that so i feel better yeah and most times i'm always crying i'm always alone here in this house I'm just always alone most of the time and I feel so sad because of that. If you know, you know, I love to be alone. I love being alone, but being pregnant and being alone is not good. So that makes me sad and sometimes I cry without a reason. Yeah, and tiredness, you guys, the tiredness is here. And the emotions is there, you know. For the tiredness, I could sleep and wake up. <sighs> Let's talk about my sleeping pattern, you guys. And when I'm up, I'm up. So I 
brush my teeth, have my bath, have my breakfast, and immediately I want to go sleep. Like after having my breakfast, I want to go sleep. My appetite at the beginning of my third trimester was high, and then it reduced, and then it came up. Yeah, and sometimes I'm hungry, eh? and I make food for myself, but I mostly cook my meals here. So I make my food, right? And it's time to eat. I'm like taking like a few spoons, like maybe four or five. I'm already filled up. But I'm like, no, girl, finish that food you got to finish that food <laughs> so i'm gonna finish the food and when i'm done eating the food i become so helpless so it is in my throat there and i don't know what to do you know i get so uncomfortable and i do not go to bed until like after like five hours of eating if i do that if i go to bed immediately after eating i'm in a big trouble I want to be in a big trouble because I'm going to be having um, heartburn, I'm going to be having vegetation, I'm going to be having reflux and all of that and I don't like that for myself. Which brings me to the next point is that sleeping is a hustle. It has always been a hustle for my second trimester, you guys. In my first trimester, it was a hustle because I had a frequent urination. In my third trimester, it is even more of a tax for me because I'm going to get up and we, right? If I do not get up to we end up doing it on the bed, nasty, so I don't do that. What I decided to do is that before I sleep, I make sure I don't drink water two hours before I sleep. So when I get pressed at night, I could hold myself for a little bit above like an hour or two. Then wake up and use the restroom, right? <sighs> Breathlessness is there. You get me? Is there? The other day, I my sister was here and she was like, "Are you breathing out loud?" I'm like, "I'm breathing out loud." L O L, laugh out loud. <laughs> it was like she can hear me breathe. I'm like, "Yes, I'm breathing out loud." You know, I can't help it. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Period yeah drooling drooling i'm still drooling and i do not like that part i'm still having uh, a lot of uh, mucus build up in my throat whenever i wake up it's there nasty i do not like that that was in my uh first trimester symptoms i try not to carry my saliva in my mouth because i do not like that kind of reduced but still the build-up of um, mucus in my mouth, um, excess saliva is there whenever I wake up. And I do not like that. I was in a six-week pregnant. I noticed a new symptom called the Braxton X. You're going to feel stomach tightening for a few seconds and it's going to release. Is the baby doing that, you guys? So I've been having that since I was in a six-week pregnant. And now it's getting worse. I do have that multiple times today. We spend it still there. Oh my god, lighting it crush. Do you know what that is? When you feel an abnormal sensation in your buhaha, that is it. Like a lighting it. I don't know. A sudden unexpected pain down there. Like an electric shock. That's the perfect explanation for it. And it takes a breath away. It takes a breath away. Like that's how that is. I do have that and yeah pelvic pain so my baby is down there heads down and my stomach has dropped like my bump has dropped whenever i get up i feel pain in fact i can't walk you know whenever i wake up i'm waddling i feel pain there i'm like yo i do not just feel pain down there i do feel pain on both sides of my body because of the baby so when i lay down on my left side which is better than the right side but i love to lay on my right side but if i lay on my right side you have the reflux the rotation feelings just because the uh the stomach how do i put it the the gastric content kind of flow 
come up from your stomach easily when you lay on your right side and when you lay on your left side yeah i don't have that symptom so i tend to sleep on my left side more often and right now if i sleep for more than two hours on either side i need to have pain like i'm going to get paralyzed on that side and it's so so bad when i'm turning to the other side of my body I don't know. I don't know. Those that have been pregnant know what I'm talking about. Yeah, some people do have it um, better than some other people, but this is my own symptom. And my breakout come and go. So right now it's a little bit clear, and after a while, it gets um, um, nasty, like um, acne, pimples, where have you, and skin tags on my face, on my body. It's a lot you guys and another symptom that i'm getting right now is that i'm losing my mucus plug right i'm always having this charge tmi so i feel something is coming down out of me and i go check it out and it is um this charge it is different from when i cough i get ip on myself a little bit right and when I try to bring out the mucus at the back of my throat, I do uh, pee a little bit. Yeah, it's different from that. But the one I'm passing through right now is that I'm losing my mucus plug. And I know that the mucus plug do, um, I won't say grow back, do um, form back. So it's not an indicator that I am in labor. So I get these are my symptoms, the earliest, the latest symptom. And... I just can't wait to have my baby in my arms, right? I am currently pregnant, you guys, currently pregnant, and whenever I've seen this video, I'm still going to be pregnant, yeah, and I do have a lot of vlogs to upload and all of that. I am hoping for a smooth labor and delivery. I, I have had the smallest pregnancy so far. And I'm so grateful to God for that. And I'm hoping and praying for a smooth labor and delivery and a smooth postpartum, even though some of you will know that I am alone here. My mom is not here with me to take care of me or to do a mogwa for me. And I'm dreading postpartum more than labor and delivery because I've done that before. I kind of have a clue on what it's gonna be like i'm gonna keep you guys updated okay guys thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you guys in my next video please give this video a thumbs up drop your comment comment section tell me your third trimester symptoms how it was for you in your previous pregnancies i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye